Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche, the mountain update. And oh my goodness, this place is cool. Uh, yeah, we're still running a little bit low on food, but uh, we're going to try and deal with that and try and branch out and find more berry bushes. And uh, so far, so good. We haven't encountered any of the new predators, but I'm actually pretty curious to meet them. And uh, we've already found stuff like this twig bush thing that actually gives you nest material and there seems like there's going to be all sorts of new things in this update and i'm super excited to discover them all there's also hot springs i don't know what the heck this thing is it might just be a rock but it's a cool looking rock and i think this might be i don't know what that is we'll have to find out and uh yeah we've just jumped right in and we're gonna try and find out what's going on with this update so let's go ahead and get started there's not much more we can do with this day so we'll go ahead and start a new one Did the bird just snag something? Or I think bones just disappeared. That That's what happened. I still don't hear any new predators. And uh, we've been being pretty careful with our, um, our babies. So we can uh, gather from here. Yep, I know you're screaming really loud in my ear, bird. <laughs> and uh, we're going to continue moving this way. Here's another berry bush. Great. Okay. And uh, we'll continue gathering. We should be okay, I think. It's a little laggy sometimes. Uh, sorry about that. And uh, okay, that was it for Chorus turn. And what is this? Can we do anything with it? Okay, Rokir, you're going to be the guinea pig. What is this? What is this? Cold? What? Wait, was he already cold? I'm very confused. Let's bring uh, Sureka down here because I think we can get this bunny. Yep, yeah, we can kill the bunny. And I think I'm actually going to bring Isra over here to gather it up. And then we'll get her ready to go back in the nest and have another baby. Because this way we won't... Um... What is this? He's cold. Does he have... No, he's... Oh, he blends in because of his colors. That's good. I don't know what the heck this stuff does. Huh. Does it reduce... I don't know what it does. I am very confused. Okay. Maybe it's just aesthetic. I don't know. We'll find out, I'm sure. But, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have enough food again. Let's go ahead. We'll start it. What in the... <gasps> it snowed. Roke here is a... Uh... Oh. So it's snowing. So let's see. If we get him in the hot spring, that removes the cold effect. So it, he can't... He, he doesn't get his turn back. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. And do we hear anything? I don't hear any of the new predators that I've heard tell of. So let's come this way. And we can snag that guy. And are you cold too? <gasps> she is. Oh, many of them are cold. Oh, dear. Okay. What about this little guy? Does he have... He doesn't get any heat or cold resistance for his, uh, his spike body. So I'm actually going to bring her down here and we'll breed them. And then I'm going to put Nerota here. And we can gather from here. And ooh, man, some of our creatures are suffering from this cold. Oh, man, this gets harder. It, yeah, it definitely gets harder. <gasps> yeah, Ikora. Oh, wow. Okay. We definitely need to get the big body in there as soon as we can. So we're going to start a new date. And oh, I don't think. Oh, it did. Okay. Oh, boy. What's this guy? What's this guy? Just a carnivore. Okay. Just a carnivore. Uh, Duke Nunu. Why is he taking damage? Is he... I think he just... I don't know. He's gonna attack that carnivore and poison him. And then we'll come over here. And then we'll have Rara scoot back this way. Because I think we're gonna lose uh, Duke Nunu, unfortunately. And I'm gonna put Kervanta... Kervanta's doing okay in the cold. I'm gonna have Kervanta come up here. And we'll bring uh, Isra up here. And... Uh, breed them. Did it not? It didn't work. There we go. It worked. Alrighty. So, man, it's so much diff more difficult with the the possibility of breeding not working. And uh, Korra's gonna keep collecting. Oh, boy. And we're gonna have some take damage again. 
And then what about... Okay. Oh, there's food down here that we had forgotten about. Okay. That works. So if they... If he... He, I think, is um, immune from the cold debuff for this... At least this turn, it seems. And uh, Korra isn't going to last much longer either. So we need to start getting... Okay. Out of these guys, do they still have potential... Potentially bad ice? Oh, yes, they do. Uh, yes, they do. And then Tata. Oh, my. We have a defender born. And uh, Tata. I don't know if I really want to breed him, though. And Roke here. And then we had Kirvanta. Ah, oh, we need some of those normal eyes to mutate in. It's definitely hard. And uh, we'll start a new day. Yep, he didn't make it. And, uh, oh, my. Regrowing grass. I'm going to actually move. Oh, I don't want... Lose the baby. Um, are we actually even gonna be able? Yes, we are. Oh, but she can't move in the nest. Oh goodness, this cold is. How? Oh right, if they stay in a pack, they get even more warm. Okay, so there it's the only. What are you? Okay, you're a loner. That's a loner. Okay. We gotta make sure she's not gonna steal our berries, whoever she is. Cora's o doing okay this turn, though, so maybe the temperature has risen. Alright, we need to... I'm gonna bring... I'm gonna bring Rara over here, even though I don't like to, and have her start attacking, because I don't want this guy to come and attack a little Tata here. And we're gonna make sure... Oh boy... Yep, yeah, we're gonna bring Roke here down here as well. I don't know if they get sick from the cold. I think they might be too cold. It just says reduced energy. I don't know. I'm gonna... There's lots of these hot springs, it looks like. And the snow is built up. My gosh. <coughs> oh, we have to clear away the snow. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> wow, that's new. Okay, so you're on Omega... Sereko, I'm going to put on Omega, even though she has pretty good genetics. Well, ooh, that's a tough decision. And have we managed to get... We do have several that have... Okay, so, yeah, we've got several that have had... Yeah, we have several creatures that have had this, um, the good immunity that came through. Okay, we need to make sure though we have... Okay, no, I don't really want then Sereko. I think we're gonna put her on Alpha and then have any of these guys? Yeah, she has different immunity from both of them, so who has better genetics? Um, that would be Kirvanta. So Kirvanta's gonna go on Alpha. And we're gonna lose poor Korra. Oh no. Hopefully this... A carnivore won't attack Sereko. I'm hoping he'll go after Rara. Um, but, because Sereko also has good eyesight. And we could start getting uh, that good eyesight bred in. And then we have Roke here. We still have Narota. She could even breed with Narota, who has good collecting. Can he... Nope, there's nothing to collect there. Alright. So, uh, Narota needs to stay on Alpha, but I think Ezra could go off of Alpha, because she's already had several babies that have passed on good immunity. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, and here is one of those mole creatures. Oh, and it's Korra's last turn. Oh, I really liked Korra. Korra has been a uh, very good creature. I'm gonna gather from here. And then... I'm gonna gather here, and I think... I'm actually going to bring Sereko up here, and I'm going to bring Roke here this way, because I want to breed these guys, and we'll have her make a nest right there, and then I'm going to leave this little one in the nest for now, and uh, Tata is going to come here, and he can start attacking soon. And then Nerota is actually going to come kill that mole, and that will provide enough food to feed the tribe for another turn. So it's a little bit of, um, it's been a bit of a problem. Food, again, seems to be a common theme. We'll move this little one down here. But yeah, for its... <gasps> Holy moly, what in the world? What has happened here? Okay, you are going to... 
Why can't you... No, I clicked the carnivore by accident. You're gonna whack that guy. And then you are gonna whack this guy a couple times. And you can whack him again. There we go. So between the two of these guys, they do okay. And then I'm actually gonna bring Duke Rovan down here and he can grab one of these and we can get the next one the next turn. So that actually helped us quite a bit. And uh, let's come up here and then we had another female born. Good, 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 good. Oh, I didn't want to destroy the nest. I just wanted to click on the female. No, the baby. Um, and the baby mutated the good eyesight. That's another great perk. Okay, so Kirvanta. And are these guys, maybe they're doing okay because they're being warmed by their pack. Oh, we lost Cora. Oh. And uh, let's see. Kirvanta. I don't know what to do with you, bud. Are you, would you be a good mate? Yes, you would. We're going to bring you, I'll put you in here for now. And then we're going to breed these guys eventually. And we'll go ahead and start a new day. And it's snowing again. Oh my gosh. All right, let's. I'm gonna gather this up. I'm actually gonna bring Roke here over here and have him do some over there or get some gathering over there. And then, oh, did it not work? It, I don't think it worked. Okay, there we go. Or maybe I just forgot to breathe them. I don't know anymore. Now you don't even know. And uh, let's gather, gather. And uh, Tata can keep moving this way. We're gonna explore this way because I wanna get set up around these edges where we're gonna find more berry bushes because I don't know how much food is up in the mountain area. So let's see, this is harder than I thought it would be. So we've got enough food for this turn. We're gonna start a new day, but we gotta get back to these berry bushes pretty quick. The ones, there's another bird. And I haven't heard tell of the new predators just yet. And um, I really, really, really want that, uh, um, that uh, the nimble fingers back. So let's keep. Oh, we could have fished. Dang it. Lost the chance. All right. I think the clown koi left again. It looks like. I think that's what those guys are called. Oh. I'm going to have you do that. And then we can gather from here. And you can gather from here. We're doing okay with food. And can we breed them? Yep, it worked. Okay. And we're going to continue this way. We'll have Tata explore. I don't hear too much or smell too much. There's more berry bushes, though, which is excellent because we're going to need those. So we're going to keep going here. These guys are going to be a breeding pair eventually. Why are you... Okay, no. I'm going to put you on alpha. I'm going to move new Nero down here. And then we'll put you up here. And you can gather here. And uh, Nerota can come down here and gather. And I actually am going to bring Duke Rovan over here where he can keep gathering from here. And I'll continue to explore over this way. It's a little bit laggy. I apologize for that. It's a larger island and it's simulating for all the snowfall. So I suspect that might be calling a, causing a performance drop. And I'm going to have these guys try and actually... Well, they'll make their way down this way. Because... Oh, there's a bunny! Excellent, excellent, excellent. They'll make their way this way and start gathering from these berry bushes again. Okay, so I'm going to start a new day again and we'll actually gather up this regrowing grass. And so far I haven't heard any of the new predators or the new prey. <gasps> Holy moly, what in the world? Uh, okay. I... It's a walrus deer. It's a walrus deer. That scared the living daylights out of me. All right. Um, does it move every turn? Yes, it does. What? Okay, that's a rogue, I think. Gather, gather, come up here. That's the new prey, I guess. Oh, it plows away to the snow? I think it plows away the snow. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, okay. And uh, have we had... Have we had any born with the... No, we haven't. I really, really want a baby 
With that's the walrus deer. Yeah, it plows away the snow. They're kind of nice to have then. But I bet they could do some damage with those antlers. Uh, they seem slow as well. Oh, they do plow away the snow. Okay. Do I hear anything new? Okay. We're going to start a new day. And what? Oh, it's, um... Oh, it's the... What is this? Ah! <gasps> What? It's an arctic ram fox. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's and they're oh, they're coming in packs. Oh my goodness, this is everything I wanted. <gasps> ah ha ha. Yes. <gasps> How much can we can we take him down? Yes, we can take him down. Oh yes. <gasps> so much food to feed the tribe. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay. Can you... Alright. If we go this way... Yep. We can attack it. Attack it. How much health do you have? Holy moly that has a lot of health. Alright. Can you even make it up here? Yeah, you can attack. And you can come this way. We gotta try and corner it. And uh, let's... Um... Move mom here. Move you here, gather, then baby comes here, breed, didn't work, breed again, breed again, alright, and then there's another one of these, and we are, great, we're losing food, um, who can take damage, I don't really want you to take damage, because you're going to be a good hunter, uh, I'm going to let you guys take damage though, unfortunately, I'm sorry you guys, we have a lot of you guys though, <gasps> oh my gosh, Okay, there's more? How many? Holy stinking moly! How many are there? And these guys are not as weakened. Okay. How many? Okay, you're almost dead. There's so many! How many are there? Okay, this is something I both really wanted and really feared. Okay. I'm gonna actually move... Well, no, I'm gonna have you attack. And you come up here, and you can attack. You can attack. You can attack. You can attack. You have to be almost dead. How are you not dead? Um, I'm going to actually have you kill this thing. Here we go. Please die. How much freaking health? Okay, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. You can come back up here and do this. There we go. And you can gather here. No, it's leaving. All right, I'm gonna start a new day. Those Arctic ram foxes are gonna show up too. All right, got that. Gather this. I'm gonna actually. Oh, I didn't. No, oh, I didn't think about the spikes. No, are you bleeding? You're not bleeding. You just took damage. All right, where did they go? Holy, there's another thing. There's another thing. What is this? What is this? What have I found? <gasps> what did it grab? I didn't have a creature over there. Alright. What is this thing? I just want to see. Holy stinking. That's a balance bear. It looks like a seal. How much? Okay. It has three defense. This is going to be the big bad of the mountains. I have a feeling. <laughs> Uh, let's get these guys away. And I'm going to come this way. How far does it move in a turn? Um, It moves two. Okay. We can move two with one action. So we can gather this. We got a lot of food from that walrus deer thing. And uh, there's a dotamingo. And I think I'm going to bring start bringing these guys back down this way. And uh, those walrus deer are great, but you have to hunt them as a pack. I'm loving this. Oh, you guys, I'm loving this. This is all I'd ever hoped for. Oh, gosh, you guys. I am so hyped. You have no idea. All right, so I'm going to gather, come up, and gather. And that way, the baby will be okay. I'm going to bring Ysraci this way. And I think we may have actually had... A baby that got the nimble fingers. Did you get nimble? Oh, you got nimble fingers. I love you. 
Uh, yes. Okay, nimble fingers. So I'm going to put you on alpha because I want to preserve you. We have a lot of food now, though, so that's a good sign. And uh, we're going to send our hunting party out this way to look for another walrus deer. And hopefully that bear leaves us alone. Holy moly. Okay, you scared me. You scared me. But you have attacked the wrong tribe. Goodbye. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> You're going to go to feed us, not to eat us. All right. Gather. Come down. Gather. Come up. And actually, do you have a good mate? If you have a good mate, we don't need to breed anymore. So you got decent fertility. Okay. And how are the immunities? No, those are the same. These are totally different though. So she could breed with Kirvanta. And I think we're going to actually breed Simei and Kirvanta here too. And uh, we'll have her make a nest right here. And uh, we're not actually going to breed these guys anymore. I'm going to have you come up here. And there's a Dodo Mingo. Do I hear anything more? The bear is still over there. I wonder what the bear does. Like, I mean, I know it, it probably attacks. But I'm very, very curious. Okay, I'm going to actually have you come. Hey! I guess I'll destroy the berry bush then. All right, we could gather more nesting material. And uh, is there anything more that I hear over here? And, oh gosh, the lag. Why is it so laggy? Something's going down. Thankfully, the predators only move once per turn. And I think, too... Oh, yeah, and if... So, do these guys... Good eyesight. And pretty good eyesight. Pretty good eyesight. And if we end up breeding them... How are you... Oh, do Naruto's going to die. Oh, we gotta get somebody down there to protect the babies. Okay. Um, but, yeah, so we could also breed... Dukirnu. I'm actually gonna bring Dukirnu this way. Um, and I'm gonna have these guys search for more of the, that, uh, those walrus deer things. <gasps> oh boy. Uh, no, the thing has happened. The thing we've dreaded has happened. How, how are you? Because we might lose you. Uh, you're pretty good. I would rather not lose you. Alright. Kirvanta, attack, attack, attack. You're kidding me. This is... This is who... This... Help. Help. Help them, please. Help them, please. Uh, yeah, this... This is what this guy is. He's the equivalent to the apes. Um... But not quite as strong. Oh boy, no, I don't want uh, baby to get eaten. Those those fox things weren't bad. I actually kind of like those. Those gave us a lot of food. Or at least a fair amount. We're going to continue to explore. And we'll come up here. Keep moving. I'm going to move you this way as well. You can come sit in a hot spring for a while. Oh, here we go. I would love to find more of those fox things, but hopefully this bear doesn't attack the baby. What is the balance bear's thing even? It has cold resistance. It can fish. Okay, good. It attacked. All right. You, Nudukta, need to run. Okay, so we'll do that again. Attack, 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 and then attack, attack, attack and hopefully it'll continue to go after uh um Dukirnu. so it's really hard to take down but at the same time it doesn't do that much damage so how much lifespan does it have left it has 12 days left if we can take this guy down i want to see how much food he'll give us <laughs> and uh, you can gather from here i'm gonna actually scoot back up here gather and then keep moving and then kuvan can keep moving this way i'm gonna try to explore this area as well so the new predators are I'm sorry, but the foxes are hands down my favorite. I've wanted a pack predator for you have no idea how long. And uh, those foxes are basically my dream come true. The ram fox things, whatever they called. Uh, but yes, I love them. <laughs> and they're really cool looking too. All right, so let's... 
we'll gather this up as well. We'll go ahead and start a new day. So food has been less of a problem. All right, now I think you actually knew Dukta. He's got pretty good immunity, so let's continue. I'm gonna continue attacking. I wanna take out this bear. Because these guys have both have a long time to live. And Dukirnu is slowly losing health. But uh, so is the balance bear. We're slowly taking it away. And uh, Nudukta has a very good genetics. And I'm actually going to put... Because um, I think most of our breeding pairs... Well, no they don't. They, they still have the chance of having the webbed hind legs creep in there. And I'm going to actually move him down here. And I wonder, hey, how are these guys? They ha they share immunity, dang it. Never mind. <laughs> I was hopeful. And let's actually take out that bunny. And uh, these guys are doing pretty well, but I think there was some foxes down this way that I would like to investigate. Let's come this way. Ooh, it's a little laggy. Something's moving. And I think, yes, there's some foxes over here. Okay, let's keep moving this way. And I think, yeah, there's at least two. I don't know how strong they are, but the ones we found are pretty much almost dead anyway. All right, so we're going to move this way, gather this up, and we'll jump on the bunny, and then next time, hopefully the bunny won't move. There we go. We can snag this. We can gather from here. I'm going to leave you running around in here. And then you are the one who took more damage again, I think. Yep. Continue to attack, attack, attack. That's a rogue male, isn't it? Yes. And, uh... Oh my, what did I just do? Okay. I <laughs> uh, did not know my computer could do that. Okay. So let's see. So I think... Hey! No! No! Get out of here! No! No! That's not okay, sir. I think the bear attacks whoever you attacked last. And he has, like, the coloration of a leopard seal. I really love that. And then, where did those foxes get off to? They went this way. Alright, we're gonna come this way as well. Do you have just awful movement? Why can't you move so far? Is it because it's uneven terrain? Alright, oh, we got the ram fox. We took out the ram fox. Let's come this way. And then we're going to come this way. I want to know how long of a lifespan they have. We'll have to look at that the next time we see one. And then you can keep moving this way. There we go. And I'm actually going to have these guys come over this way. And we'll start clearing this area out. And I think... Yeah, there's lots of uh, berry bushes too. The mountains are awesome, by the way. So we're going to keep... I hear somebody getting attacked. Oh, it's probably down here. Did you... Did either of you guys get attacked? Okay, if we keep doing this... I may just let that nest run out. How much attack do these guys even have? Oh, he's... Oh, he's bleeding, so we should send you up there. They have three... And three defense, so... Yeah, it's gonna take him a while to do anything with this, so maybe we'll send a... Is it Tata? Yes, it's Tata. Maybe we'll start sending Tata this way. And I think we should have somebody um, come and gather, or come and, uh, I'm going to send uh, maybe you, yes, you can lick the wounds and help over here. So you can come back this way. And I think there should be more ram foxes around. I heard them, I believe. I thought I heard them. Maybe they died. Oh, no, there's one. There's one. All right. And then, yeah, Tata will come and help with this guy and should be able to do, because uh, he has six attack as opposed to three. And we'll make sure we can continue gathering up the berries in this area and exploring over there. So I'd love to find another one of those, uh, the sheep deer the walrus deer i think it's called okay let's see so who actually took damage was it kuvan it might have been kuvan i'm not even sure anymore okay let's kill this guy slowly 
and slowly we're doing damage it's just very very slow all right so tata now should be able to help and let's kill this bunny and there's who's down there oh my goodness oh my word who are you race race oh no she's sick she's sick we can't have anything to do with her we'll have to let the bird pick her off i'm afraid that's maybe why that fox that's wait that's another bear um let's see that's maybe why that fox thing was down here is it still down here i think it's gone i think it may have actually gone but we want to avoid this bear for now Hopefully the bear will target that one. There's a walrus deer, yes! Okay, we're gonna have another big hunt soon, I think. And uh, we will have to attack this large walrus deer. And it should have, oh no! I didn't realize she was getting so old. Oh! And uh, we'll go ahead and have one more turn, but after that, I think we'll wrap up the episode. So, yep. Oh no, dang it! Why? The bear attacked and attacked our best fighter who happened to have hemophilia. All right, let's do that and keep fighting. And this guy is definitely losing health. Definitely, definitely losing health. There's the fox. Let's look at these guys. Okay, so how long? 14, they live 15 days. Oh, I love the, whoa. My, that was not what I anticipated. All right, are these guys all really old? Yes, old or damaged. There we go. Let's come in and start gathering some of this food. They give you a decent amount of food too, so they don't actually, they're not that hard to deal with. Um, I actually really, really like them. And uh, they're really, really cool looking. So let's come back down here. And uh, we'll continue to gather from these bushes. And uh, I think that's it for now. So the mountains biome is super duper awesome. I am really enjoying it. And uh, this honestly is a lot more my uh, a lot more my uh, my cup of tea than the jungle was, I will say. So even with the these balance bear guys. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to leave off here for today, but I will see you guys next time. And until then, this is Jay, over and out.